WWE Superstar Clash 162, it's finally here. We are on the road to blood, sweat, and tears. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is the one. It started with 32, then down to 16. To 8, to 4, to 2, to 1. And it was Hellboy has won the 2015 SCAW Tournament and he is going to headline be in the main event challenge for the most prestigious prize in all of SCAW the SCAW Championship Blood Sweat Tears 8 and we're going to kick this episode of the Superstar Clash off by hearing from the tournament winner Boy, has that's an interesting point. Who's winning, Pacquiao or Mayweather? I'm gonna say Mayweather. Could see a surprise. Well, no surprise to me. I think we've seen this man dominate the ICW Championship for 15 months. Now, upon 16 months almost as SCAW champion. Will really he make it through the end of May as champion? He defends that title at Blood, Sweat, Tears 8. And you got Hellboy who has never been defeated at Blood, Sweat, Tears. But Edward Elric, he's never lost either. Edward Elric, SCW champion, successfully defended the title of Descendants in a triple threat match. It's Spider-Man and Anakin. You know, Hellboy might be just his toughest challenge. As of yet, he's going to achieve the goal he set out when he won the title at Blood Sweat Tier 7. He wanted to make it to Blood Sweat Tier 8 as SCAW champion. And he's done just that. It's quite the bold statement from the, hold on, and it's Anakin, who's a member of that triple threat match. At a sentence, he was not involved in the decision, Elric actually pinned Spider-Man. 
to retain the title. And now Anakin, of course, has history with Hellboy as well. Remember, they made it blood, sweat, and tears seven. And of course, he, then he, Anakin proceeded to interfere in the main event in which Elric well, he won the SCW Championship last year at Blood, Sweat, and Tears 7. And he's making his way to the ring to interrupt these proceedings here. What's he going to say or do? What's he going to say here? Hold on, it's Guile speaking on the triumph from his office. Two big matches. Dante will face Edward Elric? Oh, that's big. That's two big matches at with the big announcement? Oh my goodness. We got two huge matches. But Hellboy and Ella, it looks like they want to fight right now. And Anakin and uh, Dante, I don't. Uh, Anakin's standing on the apron here. We got Anakin versus Hellboy rematch for Blood, Sweat, and Tears 7. 
We got Elric versus Dante. Wow. The road load to blood, sweat, and tears. It sure isn't going to be dull, it looks like. That's two huge matches scheduled for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, as we just announced earlier, two huge matches, and what is this? The 80s Express. Oh, that's the name they've been anointed. This was, by the way, suggested by Bryce in the forum zone. I was going to call him Man and Machine, but 80s Express sounds a whole lot better. And with this music, are you kidding me? That is Dare by Stan Bush. I think it was in a Transformers movie. These guys are pretty, these guys are 80s. Just, they just scream 80s. So yeah. Take your vitamins. Say your prayers. And yes folks, the Axis powers are getting a title shot. Apparently, it was He-Man and Optimus Prime who wanted these two 
here tonight. Octus Prime and He-Man have had problems with the Axis powers. When you, especially Gladiator and Octus Prime, who are former tag team partners, on four occasions, they were tag team champions. And actually, Gladiator could make history in this match. He could become the first superstar in SCAW history to hold a, a title six times. He is a five-time tag team champion. And now, Octus Prime is currently a f he's the tag champ for the fifth time. He man for the second time. Their first reign as a team. Ichigo Kurosaki has also been a tag team champion with Edward Elric. And now it's He-Man and Gladiator going to start the, the show here and Max Gladiator to the outside. It's our first match of the night. As announced earlier, two huge matches. Edward Elric will face Dante. Anakin versus Hellboy. And now Gladiator's in illegally. And oh, and a cheap shot to his former tag team partner. That team broke up back at Blood, Sweat, and Tears 4. That long ago. It's 40 plus years ago. But they're perhaps one of the greatest teams in SCW history still to this day. There's a suplex by E-Man. And he's going to tag Prime in. And Gladiator, I don't think, wants anything to do with his former partner. But he's in this match because he wants to prove he's superior to him. Because the Axis powers each goes to sit to the floor. Harry Potter. Done. Harry Potter, Gladiator, Ichigo took out Brian Erlacher. Where he suffered a badly bruised skull. And he suffered a concussion. We can confirm that. And because of that, Brian Erlacher is out of action as of right now. And... What does that do about the fate of the SCW Internet Championship? Well, the SCW Championship Committee, which is something I just made up, well, SCW officials, taking a wait-and-see approach to determine is, oh my goodness, look at this! Oh, Prime! The Transform Slam! Call him in the Transform Slam! That could have been it right there, but I don't think he'll recover that. Oh, and he knocked him down! Like, got it illegally close lines and, and, and oh! Cheap shot! Hey, the Axis powers. What is. Oh my god, Ichigo! How did he do that to Optimus Prime? Kicked right out. Now. Does Ichigo and Optimus Prime have some history? Ichigo defeated Optimus Prime. For the SCW Internet Championship six years ago. Talking about history here, there's so much history involving these superstars in SCAW and Oh DDT. Mentioned Gladiators, the five-time tag champ. And now with the former tag partners on the outside right here. Now what's each oh each goes gonna what is he gonna do there? Whatever he's thinking, that didn't work right there. We know a huge main event set for Blood, Sweat, and Tears 8. It will be Edward Elric defending the SCW Championship against Hellboy. But everybody else is looking for their spot on the biggest show of the year. No one wants to be left off it. A chance to make history. Blood, Sweat, and Tears 8 could be our biggest event ever. Now Optimus Prime is going to make in the tag to Hellboy, to, not Hell, to He-Man, not Hellboy. I got Hellboy on the brain. Not He-Man. Oh, He-Man, oh my goodness! He-Man soared right there. He dared. But now He-Man has the upper hand. 
for Ichigo Kurosaki, who's a former SCW champion. He is headlined Blood, Sweat, and Tears. At Blood, Sweat, and Tears 3, he was in the main event of the first ever Ultimate 4-Way. Came very close to winning that match. Well, we are on the road to the biggest event of the year. So much history with that big event. We'll have a lot of time to talk about. Right now we should focus on this Tag Team Championship match. The first title defense for this new team, the 80s Express. Against the Axis Powers. And Ichigo, I think he was thinking maybe his, he was thinking something that was countered. Oh, and that's how you counter anything. Just go downstairs. That's what Ichigo did right there. Referee could have disqualified him for that. Oh, suplex! And that could be it right there! He kicked out! He did that move to Erlacher on, and his bald head hit the chair. I had to think that must have caused the concussion and the damage to his skull. Ichigo directly responsible with the thank Harry Potter's magic. The gladiator for basically setting the trap. Oh, look at this! It, oh, Ichigo countered the... Transform Slam! And there made me think it's Soul Reaper! Soul Reaper, no, no, countered it! Managed to counter the Soul Reaper. Ichigo needs a powder break. And, oh, falls and gets caught right there. Now this is, oh, this is not good. This is where you get mugged. The Gladiator is not the legal man. No, he is not, but he's in the ring and he distracts! Optimus Prime. So much so that Ichigo's now. Look at this. And, oh, but Optimus Prime, he's breaking free of that. You know he is. And the gladiator, you, know, you run away. You don't want anything to do with Optimus Prime here. <laughs> 